You're sitting in bed one night on your phone, mindlessly scrolling, when suddenly you're hit with this intense desire for better. You feel as though you're wasting your life. Your job doesn't bring you that sense of purpose. You live in a constant state of autopilot. Work, scroll, sleep, repeat. You know you could do better, make more money, have a greater sense of purpose, be healthier. You want all these things because you want to be happy, proud, secure, satisfied, all of it. You want better and you deserve better. So you start setting goals like fixing your sleep schedule, eating healthier, going to the gym, or maybe you're so dedicated to bettering yourself that you start researching other habits that can improve your life, like going for walks and mindfulness, reading, and a bunch of other healthy habits. All this is great, but once the time comes to start implementing these things into your life, you realize it's a struggle. Maybe you go a day or two completing all your goals. You feel proud, you're happy. But the third day rolls around and you feel too tired to go to the gym. Or perhaps you decided that you wanted to stay up late tonight and play Valorant with your friends. And this is where things start to fall apart. It's a domino effect. It starts with not doing one thing and then before you know it, it's another. You tell yourself that you'll fix your habits Monday, but this time it'll be different. And then Monday comes around and you're doing everything right. But it's getting late and you have one last goal. And that goal is to read for 15 minutes. But the thing is, you're tired and you've done all your goals up till now, so it wouldn't hurt just to miss one, right? So you go to sleep. Tomorrow comes and you didn't get the best sleep you could have. You feel groggy and overall tired. It's raining out and it's cold. You tell yourself that you go to the gym tomorrow, even though that's supposed to be your rest day. Throughout the day, these goals you've set keep appearing in the back of your mind. You wanted to go for a walk and practice mindfulness among other things. But then tomorrow comes and next thing you know, you're telling yourself that you'll get things right next week. I've been stuck in this cycle for years now. Maybe it's just me, but I honestly don't believe so. This is what I like to call the pursuit of perfection. You see, it starts with a very harmless and seemingly good goal of bettering yourself. But why better yourself if you can be perfect? In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the dangers of pursuing perfection and dissecting what it means to pursue perfection by asking the question of what is perfection and does it exist? And what I did to fix my mindset to better my life. What does pursuing perfection mean? For Pursuing perfection is not trying to better oneself, but trying to be the perfect version of oneself. The difference between the two is one is healthy and obtainable, while the other is unhealthy and unattainable. For me, it was the want for everything to go perfectly as planned. And if one thing went wrong, I would consider that day or sometimes even that week a complete loss. Rather than trying to salvage the day or the rest of the day that I had left, I would completely give in to my bad habits. Doing this made it impossible for me to grow and succeed. As failing is just a part of growth, I wasn't allowing that. This skill is hard to learn because it means pushing through the tough times to be better. You can't link all your goals together and tell yourself if one fails, they all fail because it's not true. A hiccup along the way is perfectly fine. And I would even say that there's a 100% chance that you'll face adversity. And adversity is all about how you handle it. Will you give in when times get rough? Or will you push through to be a better person? Ultimately accepting that you'll never be the perfect person. What is perfection and does it even exist? We all have an idea of what perfection looks like. But for most of us, it's completely unobtainable which is why I question if it even exists. Perfection is very subjective. For me, it might look like being a pro esports player who gets to travel the world while making a ton of money, as someone else may see it as being stunningly beautiful, eloquent speaking, intelligent, and sometimes more. Whatever your definition of perfection may be, it's most likely unobtainable. Even if majority of the goals are achievable, there are most likely aspects that are just impossible to achieve. Perhaps you want to be a comedian, but not just any comedian, the perfect comedian. You want every one of your jokes to land, making every person laugh. This in itself is literally impossible as humor is subjective. So making everyone laugh with a joke isn't necessarily possible as it's most likely that someone's gonna hear the joke who doesn't have the same humor as you and they're not gonna like it and that's okay. In my mind, there's only one way that perfection can exist and that's if you're religious. I, as a Christian, know that the only perfect person to have existed is Jesus Christ. Because of his humility, kindness, and selfishness, and all the other things that you could think of to describe him, he was the only person capable of perfection. And this is because he is the son of God. So unless you believe in Christianity or perhaps another religion who has a perfect being, then you should accept that there is no such thing as perfect. All people make mistakes and you can not avoid it. And you shouldn't even really try unless you just want to be overwhelmed by what is an impossible task. How to be better. Although being perfect is impossible, 
being better is not. To be better, you have to find out what that looks like. If being better is going for walks or reading more, eating healthier, or whatever it may be, you have to figure out what it is and strive towards it. And make sure that you allow yourself to make mistakes along the way. Hold yourself accountable and learn, and then you'll be able to grow from it. This was something I wasn't doing as well as I could have. Allowing myself to make mistakes and being okay with it. Also to hold myself accountable and making sure that I'm not just blaming other factors for why I fail. Making this change in my life was an absolute game changer. It changed how I approach challenges in life and really let me grow and be better. Because at the end of the day, whatever it may be, no matter how legitimate the reason, blaming anything other than yourself does no good. You have to take accountability yourself or you'll never be able to learn and grow and you will fail to be better. You need to work towards being the best version of yourself, but you have to realize that the best version of yourself is not perfect and it's probably far from it. And that's okay. In my last video, watch this before you give up, I said if you could take anything out of that video, I'd want it to be self-awareness, responsibility, and accountability. Because I truly believe that if you have these three, you'll go very far in life. And I really want you to focus on doing these three if you want to see improvement in your life. Have the self-awareness to realize that you have a problem. Perhaps it's that you spend too much time on your phone, which is making you feel detached and less productive if productive at all. Or perhaps it's making other things in your life that you enjoyed seem less enjoyable. You need to realize that it's causing you these problems. And then you have to be responsible enough to figure out how to deal with it. And finally, you have to have the accountability to realize when it's your fault. If you don't have this self-awareness to realize that you have a problem, then it'll obviously never be fixed. And if you don't have the responsibility to deal with it, it'll never be fixed. And if you can't take accountability in the event that you fail, you'll never have the chance to make things right, as you would rather blame other factors instead of yourself. I truly hope that this video will help you stop pursuing perfection and put you on a journey of self-betterment. And I wish you luck. And remember, self-awareness, responsibility, and accountability. If you found this video helpful in any way, I think you'll also enjoy this video on knowing when to give up and this next video on why you don't want to do what it takes.